perplexing case. Good morning, America. I'm Diane Sawyer. And I'm Charles Gibson. Good to have you with us. Wednesday, November 28th, 2001. And there is concern about this. And also this morning. Who would have thought the Supreme Court would ever hear a case like this? We're going to meet a mother whose child was teased in class over his grades, and she took the case all the way to the Supreme Court, saying that grades should be private. Teachers should not be permitted to read them aloud in class, and the Supreme Court is going to consider the whole issue. All right, thanks, Diane. Another story that caught our interest, and it involves a tough quiz for the Supreme Court. Yesterday, the High Court heard arguments over whether it's all right for a teacher to let students grade each other's tests and then call out the results in class. The case was brought by a mother named Chris Falvo. She's a mother in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who says her son's classmates teased him unmercifully about his bad grades. A federal appeals court supported her, saying quiz grades are protected by a federal law which guards the privacy of educational records. Yesterday, the school's attorney warned that if the high court accepts that, the consequences could be disastrous. This case has always been about really letting teachers teach and who is going to run, te- uh, run classrooms. Are teachers going to be permitted to run classrooms the way they believe as professionals uh, that they should? Or are we going to turn that over to the federal courts to come in and say, no, this is appropriate, this is not appropriate, uh, you can do this, you can't do that. So joining us now from Tulsa are Chris Falvo and her four children, ranging in age from 11 to 17, and her attorney, Will Wright. And it's good to have all of you uh, with us. Ms. Falvo, Falvo, let me start with you. Uh, What was going on in this class that so bothered you that you felt the need to sue? Well, it wasn't just one class. Um, Again, in the sixth grade and on, the children actually trade classes and have several teachers during the day. And in the classroom, there was uh, a lot of the teachers would exchange papers for grading, whether they be tests, quizzes, or homework. The teachers would then request that the student get their paper back and then call out their grade to the teacher. And I just felt that that was a violation of my children's privacy rights. I felt that my children really should keep their grade private, and it should be between the teacher and my child. So this wasn't done in just one class. It was done school-wide? Yes, it was. Yes, and, it was. And, and when a bad grade would be read out, I, knew, I know, for instance, you had just transferred your kids into the school. They were the new kids. And when a bad grade would be read out, that there would be a lot of teasing and, and, uh, and harassment? Well, yes. I think that that would probably happen in every environment. Um, again, you remember junior high age group is is pretty difficult for children and they're always looking for some type of weakness but again I don't think it's fair to focus just on the bad grades because this affects students uh, getting high grades it affects um, the way the gr- the papers are graded a lot of times they weren't graded correctly or a student would actually be asked to evaluate an essay mm-hmm. answer so but why is this a matter for the courts I mean school administrators are pretty understanding people why why call the courts in to try to regulate what goes on in a classroom. Well, uh, you have to realize we had been in that school system for a year and a half prior to going to the court system. And so I did go to the school. I went to the teachers. I went to the administration. We had several meetings. Um, A counselor came in and spoke to the teachers. And so we tried, we felt, every avenue to try to resolve this issue. Mr. Wright, let me turn to you. I I know you won this on the appellate level before going to the Supreme Court, but But people feel vaguely uncomfortable with courts and schools telling teachers what educational methods to use. My position in this case has always been is that Congress has made a policy decision. That policy decision was made in 1974 by implementing the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. And we do have a federal statute that confers federal rights on parents. But that act was designed to keep a student's overall educational record private and could only be released if the student said so. That, that wasn't necessarily designed to, to, uh, to keep confidential a kid's uh, uh, grades on Thursday's pop quiz. No, that's really the issue in the case. That's the legal issue in the case, and that is, is how do we define what an education record is? Um, the statute specifically says that it is information directly related to a student and maintained by the school district or somebody acting on behalf of the school district. 
And we maintained and have supported the 10th Circuit decisions finding that that includes the grades that are going into a teacher's grade book. I, I, was, I was interested to read that Justice Breyer, uh, during oral arguments yesterday before the Supreme Court, pointed out that he had been admonished, I think, in his third grade class for speaking out in class. And the, the teacher said, uh, Stephen, if you don't stop talking, I'm going to give you a bad mark in the grade book. Uh, and, and he said, if, if, if your interpretation of this law were, uh, were uh, to be adopted, that perhaps the teacher couldn't do that. Um, uh, that may be one of the ramifications. Of course, that isn't the issue in this particular case, but um, um, if the court construes it that broadly, yes. Um, I think Justice Breyer was concerned with where the fine line would be drawn. Um, and we've just maintained that the fine line ought to be drawn, and that is when the teacher is actually collecting the grades, such as asking and instructing the students to call out the grades uh, while she's making the record or making the recording, and, and she's doing it. And those were the facts of this particular case, that the teacher was using the students to call out their grades uh, for the sole purpose of putting the grade in the grade book. All right. Well, interesting, very interesting case, because so many people affected, obviously, people with children in school everywhere. Ms. Falvo, just before we go, uh, final decision, how are the kids doing in school these days? And, and you kept them in the same school, right? Oh, yes, of course, we're part of that community. Um, and they're doing fine. Um, I think they've always done well in school. They're part of this, you know, school activities. Uh, remember, we have gone into the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals decision for a year and a half and, uh, and have ha had uh, great success with their decision. That's right. This practice is no longer being used at the school because you won in the appellate court, but we'll see now with the Supreme Court rules uh, sometime perhaps in the spring. I thank you both for being with us very much. Appreciate it. Good to talk to you. Thank, Thank you, you Charlie. All right, we're coming up.